So in this video, we're going to look at the payment system, the method of the conducting transaction in the economy. So what would be the possible method we can use to make the transaction happening? So first of all, I want to ask you, what are the payment system you have used before? Yes, instantly you can keep in mind. So like cash, so you went to the food market and you're paying cash, and you can pay check, and also you are paying the tuition online, and so online transfer, etc. So now we're going to look at uh, uh, the history of the payment system. So why we are developing more and more unique and uh, convenient payment system. So first of all, I want to show you this picture. So I really know this is kind of food you usually can eat in a Chinese restaurant. So this is called um, a pot sticker, right? Pot sticker. And uh, have you ever asked yourself why the pot sticker has to look like this? So I came, uh, I born in China, and uh, we usually eat the pot sticker during the Chinese New Year. And in China, wealth is very important things. So when you know real you know Chinese culture, when people greet each other, usually they will see wish you rich. So wish you rich. So for me, when I see the pot sticker, I instantly connect with this. So what is that? So this actually is the old Chinese currency back to a thousand years ago. So usually it made by the silver or gold, silver or gold. So this is not, so if you look at a pot sticker and this uh, old Chinese currency, and you will find they are very similar. So that's back to what I said. Chinese people, especially back to the old time, they do looking for uh, getting rich, how to get rich. So during the new year, the one of the you know, wish um, people want to have is, this new this coming year I will be able to get rich. So that is the food they make to mimic the shape of the old currencies. And so the characteristic of uh, this kind of currency is not unique for China. If you look at the Roman, they also have the currency that is very heavy, usually made by the um, precious metals. So what do we call this kind of currency? So this is called a commodity money. So at one point, the commodity money is used as the payment system. So the key here is uh, the, the, the item you use as a commodity money has to be valuable and easily standardized and divisible commodity. Like I said, like pressure metal, silver and gold. And um, so this is the first uh, stamp of the payment system. Obviously, it's really rare you can see any country is still using commodity money. Why? Because they're very inconvenient, so it's hard to carry. So like when we talk about the one of function of the money, so one of the characteristics for money has to be easy to carry. But obviously the commodity money is not the case. So the commodity money doesn't work that well. So what is the fix? So that's what we uh, later people came out with the idea. How about fiat money? So that is money we put in our wallet every day, the dollar, one dollar bill, ten dollar bill, uh, twenty dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill. So they are called fiat money. So the characteristic for the fiat money is that they are made by paper. And so the paper money decreed by government as legal tender. So that is called a fiat money. So the reason if you look at the fiat money, so it just usually just a piece of paper or a piece of plastic like a Canadian uh, dollar. And so the usually itself doesn't have any value. The reason it can store the value is because the government back it up. So the government back it up. So what's the problem for the fiat money? So it's very easy being stolen. And so if you obviously if you put in a wallet, and if it's uh, uh, stolen by another person, it become their money. So you have no, uh, no, you have no, uh, that you cannot block in the people who stolen your money by you uh, from using that. And also, it's very expensive to transport in large amounts. So you see the car to transporting the uh, U.S. dollar in the bank. So usually they have need a big bank because. Um, because although one piece of the, um, fiat money is not that heavy, when you pile them together, it's still pretty heavy to carry. So how can we fix this problem? So that's the third payment system we see nowadays, which is very popular in the United States. It's called checks. So this is an instruction to your bank to transfer money from your account. So for instance, if you want to give one, um, one of your friend uh, $2,000, instead of give them a thick, uh, thick, um, thick um, pile of the um, uh, U.S. dollars. So what you can do is just write one piece of paper that is your check. So you can write a check. So obviously, check make up the 
problem fiat money has first easy to stole it so check if somebody stole your check you can just call the bank to ask them to cancel that check and the second it's a very easy to transport like i said two thousand dollars with the uh compared with the two thousand dollar cash the check will just be a uh, one piece of paper and so what's the problem with the check it is take time to get check from one place to another have you ever deposited check before so before, uh, so it usually take uh, several business days. If you really need a uh, cash uh, from this che uh, checking your uh, cash in your check, and you won't be able to get the money installing. So it takes a little bit of time. So how will we fix this problem? And we can use the electronic payment system, like online bill pay, online bill pay. So usually it only take 24 hours. So instead of three, four business days, and besides electronic payment, like online payment, and also we have e-monies. And so for instance, we have debit card. So that is considered the, uh, the electronic money. And also the smart card, like you go to the grocery store, you got a gift card. So that's considered a smart card. And also e-cash, e-cash. And in China, if you have to opportunity to visit China, they have one payment system called a smile to pay. So that means you smile to the screen, you actually can pay. So what that, uh, that, how that works is because the development of, of the facial recognition technology in China, and people can match in your face with the credit card uh, you combine with your face. So that's why you only need to smile to pay. So all of this creation, the online, uh, the electronic payment, e-money, is used to um, fix the problem we see by using chat fear money and combine money. So this is the evolution of the payment system. So in the next one, we're gonna look at is how we're gonna measure money.